This problem walkthrough video will illustrate how to apply the earliest due date, or EDD, and shortest processing time, SPT, rules to a sequencing problem. Here's the data for our problem. Mike Reynolds has four assignments due in class tomorrow, and his class times are as follows. His marketing assignment is due at 8 a.m., operations management is due at 10 a.m., finance is due at 1 p.m., and psychology is due at 4.30 p.m. Each class lasts one hour and Mike has no other classes. It's now midnight and Mike estimates that the finance, OM, marketing, and psychology assignments will take him six, three, two, and five hours respectively. Assume that all time till the last class begins can be spent on completing assignments, but each assignment should be done till the time of the class on the same subject. Mike can prepare assignments for the next class during previous classes. Our requirement for this problem is to use the Excel sequencing template to determine how you should schedule the work. Use the minus sign to enter negative lateness values. Enter the half an hour values as 0.5, so for example, 3.30 p.m. should be entered as 15.5. If your answer is 0, enter 0, and round your answers for the due date, lateness, and tardiness to one decimal place. Round your answers for the average values to two decimal places. But before using Excel, let's solve this problem manually first. The first step is to convert the times to due dates past midnight. So marketing, which is expected to take two hours, is due at eight hours past midnight. OM, which should take three hours, is due at 10 hours past midnight. Finance, which should take six hours to complete, is due 13 hours past midnight. And psychology, which should take five hours, is due at 16.5 hours past midnight. Next, we will sequence the assignments according to the EDD, or earliest due date rule. I have a table here showing the job or class assignment, the processing time, due date DI, flow time FI, which is the cumulative sum of the processing times, lateness LI, which is the difference between the due date and the flow time, and tardiness, which is the amount by which the completion time exceeds the due date and is the greater of zero or the lateness. The marketing assignment, which takes two hours to complete and is due at eight hours past midnight, would be the first one in sequence under the EDD rule. The flow time is two, the lateness is two minus eight or negative six, and the tardiness is zero since zero is greater than negative six. What this tells us is that if Mike completed the marketing assignment first, it would be completed six hours early. For operations management, which takes three hours to complete and is due at 10 hours past midnight, this would be the next assignment due. The flow time is five hours based on the two hours spent on the marketing assignment plus the three hours for the operations management assignment. The lateness is the five hour flow time less the 10 hour due date, which equals negative five. And therefore the tardiness is also zero. This tells us that both the marketing and OM assignments would be completed five hours before the OM assignments due. For finance at six hours, due 13 hours past midnight, this would be the third assignment due. The flow time is now up to 11 hours and the lateness is negative two, 11 minus 13, and the tardiness is still zero. At this point, Mike will have completed all assignments two hours before the finance assignment would be due. Last is the psychology assignment, which is the last assignment due based on time. It takes five hours to complete and is due at 16.5 hours past midnight. The flow time is 16 hours and the lateness is negative 0.5, which makes the tardiness zero. The average flow time is 8.5 hours. The average lateness is negative 3.38 hours and the average tardiness is zero. If Mike scheduled his assignments according to the earliest due date, he would be able to meet all of the deadlines and still have half an hour to spare. Now let's see how this will look if Mike sequenced his assignments based on the shortest processing time or SPT rule. We'll use the same table format and calculations. Based on processing time, the marketing and OM assignments at two and three hours respectively would be completed in that order. So the due dates, flow times, lateness and tardiness are the same up to this point as the EDD rule. However, the next assignment with the shortest time to complete is the psychology assignment at five hours, making the flow time now 10 hours and the lateness negative 6.5, which results in zero tardiness. At this point, the longest assignment would be completed last, and that's the finance assignment at six hours. The flow time is now 16 hours 
and the lateness is positive 3 since the 16 hour flow time means the assignments would be completed at 16 hours past midnight, but the finance assignment is due at 13 hours past midnight. This makes the tardiness now 3 hours. The average flow time is 8.25 hours, the lateness negative 3.64 hours, and the tardiness 0.75 hours. This means that if Mike scheduled his assignments in order of completion time from shortest to longest, he would not be able to meet the deadlines and would be three hours late with his finance assignment. Our conclusion then is that in order to meet all assignment deadlines, Mike should use the earliest due date or EDD rule.